Hey everyone, this is Richard here again, the car barn in Hurricane, Utah. Today I'm actually driving in a car that's a little hard to find. This is a 2000 uh, Buick LeSabre with only 101,000 miles on it. Got it as a trade-in last week from an older gentleman who just moved down here from Wyoming and decided he wanted something a little roomier to put a parachute, uh, whatever you call those things. Uh, like a powered, I guess like a power, a parachute trike thing in the back of it. And this wouldn't fit it, but really, really clean uh, little car and in excellent, excellent condition. Been driving around for a while. Power windows, doors, crews, got nice tires on it and just very, very well taken care of. I believe he's the second owner of it and uh what a hard one to get a hold of so i'm really happy and excited about this one has not even been detailed yet but it drives and does so well we went and put it through our service department make sure they checked everything out now we're going to get it cleaned up but i wanted to do a video on this because if you were looking for a buick that's in really good shape this is not one you're going to want to wait on I don't want that to sound like a sales pitch it's just reality usually with a car that's pretty dependable, reliable type of vehicle as the Buicks are, you're gonna see a lot more miles on them before people ever wanna trade them in. So you might wanna hurry if you really are looking for a Buick that's got low miles and great shape. But I'm gonna shut it off in just a second here, but real quick, if you can't believe this, good old cassette as well as CD, and that was the thing at the time. Okay, uh, everything works, the heat works, air conditioning works. Everything's doing well there and pretty nice uh, little uh, condition. So anyway, we're going to pull up some things here. There you go on the miles, 101,941 miles. I'm going to shut it off and we're going to take a look at the inside, the outside, and then go from there. And I'll point out as we do on all videos here at the Carbon, the reason we do these videos is so that you can have peace of mind and know that we are being totally transparent. We wanna point out all the features, the benefits of a car, but we're also gonna be pointing out any flaws on a car. So if you're coming from out of town, out of state, and you're looking at a vehicle to buy, that you're gonna have some confidence that you're going to get what you expected. It's not a great thing when you go to look at a vehicle and the pictures that you saw online or maybe the person you talked to on the phone, just didn't really give you a good clear picture. I'm not saying that that's intentional, but sometimes you go with certain expectations and the vehicle is just not anywhere near what you thought it was gonna be. Feel like you've wasted a trip. We do not wanna do that to you. We want you to know everything we know. You can put the, together the value of it and if it's worth the trip, you're gonna know. So anyway, I'm gonna open the door. We're gonna point out some things inside, outside and go from there, but real quick, it does have keyless entry, key fob as well. Take a look starting at the door first. Kind of go from there. You can see driver's side really in good shape. Again, has not even been detailed yet. Okay, so power windows, doors, power mirrors, heated seats, got memory seats, and check this out. It's cloth interior, but all original in really good shape. That folds up. You got seats for six. Again, some of these little things that are on the seats are going to get cleaned up anyway, but you're seeing it before it's even been detailed. Dash is nice and clean, no cracks, just really, really nice. Headliner is in really good shape. Okay, we're going to take a look at the outside. Power seat, lumbar, nice, nice. Okay, take a look in the back real quick. Doors are in good shape. Got some stains on the floor mats, but underneath got carpets in good shape. Again, all of this will steam clean up really well. Back seats, excellent shape. And the backs of the seats are in good condition. Again, we got some cleaning to do, but that's really minor, okay? Take a look around the other side, and then we'll come back to the outside a little better. Just see a chance to see, Oop. Didn't unlock all the doors. Sorry about that. Might even have a door lock that's not working. You know, anything is possible and we're okay with, uh, you know, making sure that all these things do work. So 
well, let's check that again. Yep, we got a door lock that is not working. Door actuator. So let's see if it opens from the inside. Yeah, we got a door lock actuator issue going on. So again, we're okay with that. Letting you know that. So, okay, there's the video of this side on the front. Really good shape. Passenger temperature control. Don't know if you've ever seen that before. This was the um, luxury edition model in its day and definitely still rides really, really smooth. Shifts nice, runs awesome. Seat's in good shape there. Let's take a look at the outside. This is the all original paint, original alloy wheels, got some nice, I believe these are Continentals, yep, Continentals. Excellent tires, probably the high end of quality that you can get. We'll point out a few little things. We have a crack here in the bumper down below, but structurally, you know, still in good shape around it. Certainly could be uh, touched up, repaired, covered up, that type of thing. Again, we're letting you know about it as we see it. The rest of the vehicle, seeing a few little scuffs in the paint. Very minor, though. Going down this side of the car, it's in really good shape. Got a scratch here that actually I believe will buff out. Not really feeling it much there. I didn't get the door closed, but... Um, Tires are in great shape, matching all the way around. This is the limited edition La Sabre. Got some little scuffs on the back bumper. Overall, excellent, excellent vehicle. As I said, 101,000 miles on it. Hard one to find if you like Buicks. This is probably one of the better examples out there. Mechanically, definitely one of the best ones out there. So if you need any help with any financing arrangements, give us a call. You can reach me direct at 435-773-2022. And you can call anybody here at the, char at the car barn. We've got Sean, Cheryl, myself. Again, my name is Richard. Be glad to help you answer any questions you have. Hopefully these videos are helping you out so you know whether it's worth your time to come and drive a vehicle. We want to do vehicle uh, videos on all of the things that we have give you some confidence peace of mind thanks for watching our videos and hopefully you have an awesome day if you need to get the financing again just go to barnloan.com submit the form about 30 minutes to an hour we'll have an approval we'll be following up with you to see how we can best help you out thanks again have an awesome day